Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday on this beautiful April 5th. April showers, bring May's flowers. I don't know about how you guys are, but it's beautiful here in New York. Hopefully it's nice where you are. Finally, uh, I guess, uh, what do they call it? The uh, Not the chipmunk. What, what, what's the uh, the Groundhog's Day was actually right this year. Good morning to you too. Kathleen, Casey, Mark, John. There you go. Elaine, good to see you all. All right, everyone. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed the uh, uh, the uh, Cyber Expo yesterday. We had some great speakers, Hema and uh, Larry Gans and everything. So there were some great uh, programs that they were offering. Very inexpensive. I think everyone should try a little bit of everything. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed it a little bit. And uh, you know, we, we do them time to time. We'll bring some speakers. Hope everybody comes in, uh, enjoys those Cyber Expos. Now, regarding about uh, today, today you know it's Friday, and we know what Friday is all about. People like to go home early. Especially, you know, weekend, want to maybe do some planting like me, you know, take care of your chickens. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you get spring fever. So it, a lot of people are, are going to probably take off today. I don't, and you got to, you got to take it, look at it that way. So just be very careful about trading today's markets. Um, we, we know that how Fridays work out. We don't have a good Friday mornings, but uh, Friday afternoons have been on fire. I mean, Friday afternoons have been, just literally, <laughs> we've been having these great rallies, and we're having another one today. So uh, the market's been on. You know, I mean, I don't know if you guys have been checking it out, but the Dow Jones is doing phenomenal, phenomenal. We're almost testing major, major highs. A lot of swing trades are doing great. But I think, you know, once again, our day trades have just done phenomenal yesterday. I'm going to talk a little bit about those day trades, and then we'll go, um, we'll maybe talk a couple of swing trades. But a couple of stocks are moving this morning. Let's just talk about some of the ones that we traded yesterday. Let's start off with Snap. Uh, Snap actually did really, really well, had a nice little afternoon run. Let me just fix this intraday chart here. Get a little bit more of a what happened. But yeah, we had a nice little pop in Snap. Actually, Snap is actually going back on my watch list this uh, this morning too, so I'm gonna add it on. But Snap is actually doing pretty well. Uh, you can see had a nice little, some of you did pretty well on that one. The, what else did we have? We had the TH. The TYHT, that's what. Great pop right there, right at the gate, buck 20 to buck 80. You know, that thing really uh, had a nasty shake in the pre market, but that was basically, you know, that was one of the stocks that we were in, and I was in in, in early mornings. And uh, I'll tell you, man, it, I, I, crazy volume. And all of a sudden, just literally just made his pop right there from nowhere. Nice little cheap little stock. You could have traded a lot of a lot of shares of that stock. Had no problem getting in out of it. A lot of orders, a lot of ten thousand share orders out there. Um, you know, but just uh, keep close eye on it because this stock. You know, if you go back in history, the stock actually took a pretty nasty hit. You could see right here was the thirty dollars stock at one point. So could well, could end up being a day trade sooner or later. I mean, a swing trade. SGMO, another one. Not the not the prettiest looking chart, but she had a nice little move. She went from eleven eighty all the way up to about twelve eighty. That one was pretty good. And then the Y R I V last one. Let's talk about that one. That one also had a nice little early move. Actually, I'm sorry. That was the one that was in early in the morning. That that I had that one right there had that little nasty shake right there, and you could see it how it just went from a buck twenty up to a buck ninety. That was actually the one I actually meant, not the T H Y. Uh, the T Y H T. It was the Y R O V. So um, that's the one I would want to keep a close eye on it too, because you can see it's been really trending up nice. And you know what? I called it out yesterday. I said, "Listen, the stock has major resistance levels at a buck eighty, and was right around there." And sure enough, it did exactly that. Went to a buck eighty and dropped all the way back down to a buck fifty. But you can see most of the money's made within that first thirty minutes. Actually, we did a little bit better than that. That stock was pretty much done in like. Five minutes and then had its little nasty shake right there. So anyway, that's what happened yesterday. But that's back into the archives. Let's focus on what's going on today. Um, one stock I'm looking and considering. It looks like a pretty good swing trade. Got it in the wrong. Oh, typed in the wrong window. L Y F T Lyft. Um, everybody knows Lyft. Basically, it's the you know it's the, it's the the other Uber. And uh, went public just recently, and the stock tanked. It went from like a buck ninety all the way down to sixty six. But she's been making a little bit of a comeback, you know. I mean, she's been coming back a little nicely. She made a nice pop early in the morning. 
She's been on a little bit of an uptrend when you look at the chart. So, you know, this stock might – because, you know, it's funny. I was in I was in the city last night, and uh, actually I was invited to the unveiling. I don't know if anyone – I know I know Ken Thal is, but he's a, a Jet fan. But I was at the unveiling last night. Uh, I was invited to the unveiling, and, uh, I you know, I, I took a – it's, it's, I like sometimes I go back and forth between Lyft and Uber. I kind of more favor Lyft a little bit more, but I was I took a Lyft drive and the guy was listening to my conversation and he was asking me, um, you know, about cryptocurrency and do you think I should invest and this and that. And then I said, let me ask you a question. What did they give you any stock for uh, Lyft? And you know they did, and it's shockingly they said, yeah, it was at eighty seven dollars. Like really, they didn't give you the IPO price because usually when you're an employee, they give you the IPO. Like I think it was at forty or whatever. But unfortunately, it's shockingly, they didn't. So, anyway, um, I says, well, maybe now if you really like the, like what you do, I mean, maybe you want to invest in your company because it's been making a little bit of a comeback on it. So you can see it's been uh, been doing pretty well. The other one on our list is CNET. CNET. Uh, some of you remember we traded the stock back in. Uh, I think it was that. I think end of October or early March. That stock was a great uh, short term swing trade. It went from a buck fifty all the way to four dollars. But uh, and because w what it did in the past is one of the reasons why I like to keep a close eye on it. Kind of broke that resistance levels right about here, around the 250. So now that resistance level becomes a new support, which is, you could see it kind of like tested there in the pre-market. So CNET looks pretty good. GL, GLG is another one. Box up 13%, 100,000 shares. Not the prettiest pre-market though, so I wasn't completely sold on it. But she is, um, she is up a little bit, so I'll put that on the watch list, a little cheapy. Once again, not a lot of these stocks were, were, were the, were the, are the nicest looking in pre-market, even like the CRB, uh, the CRBP. You know, it's up to 5%, 150,000 shares. Once again, not the greatest. So, so far, I'm considering second protocol. RIOT, the stock's been a fun stock to trade. This stock is basically testing some support levels right here around four, so keep a close eye on it. It, did, it tested it yesterday. You could see it right here, uh, these resistance levels back in the early, early of this year. So nasty stock, though. Be very careful, uh, blockchain. This stock has some nasty, nasty shakes. BBBY, that one did pretty well. It's gapping up again this morning, Bed Bath & Beyond. Just, it's a little bit of a brand-name stock. Just be very careful with it. It had a great move yesterday. It was another one I forgot to mention that some of you guys traded. And you can see this is where we make all our money from 10 o'clock to 11. And then there's your flat line. She's gapping up again this morning. So it looks like she's going to be testing some resistance levels. She could probably go to 1950, uh, where right around these resistance levels, 19 and then 1950. So we're, you know, you still got time. But right now in pre market, guys, look, big spread. Stay away from it. Not that much on the, major, on the level three. So. Be very cautious. AMD actually is doing pretty good too, actually. AMD is making a huge comeback. Uh, you could see just by the pre-market over here from yesterday, though, nasty shakes. I mean, up, down, up, down. The stock, you got to take nickels and dimes. But she is gapping up pretty nicely this morning. Looks like she's going to test its resistance levels right around 13. It, uh, you can see it right around here. So we'll keep, uh, keep an eye on this one. This stock could be a fun stock to watch too. You got to be a level two trader, though. Minimum level two to trade AMD. AQB is another one that came up on my radar. The stock got crushed um, from this morning. It's down 22%. But you know I'm a fan of bottom fishing. So the stock, obviously, you can see it's starting to come back. It took a big hit yesterday. And uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit of an uptrend. So decent spread. Unbelievable volume. A hell of a lot of buyers, not a lot of sellers, which you know what that means, right? Read between the lines. Uh, two more, ACB, that was another one that we, uh, we, we've been watching the last couple of days. This stock has been moving pretty nicely, 1.3 million shares. You could trade a lot of shares of the stock. Uh, good spread, a lot of volume right now, a lot of level three orders. The stock looks like to be volatile too. Got some support levels testing right around 921. Last but not least, oh, I, I, I talked about it. Snap. That was all the one I'm going to throw back on the watch list. That was from yesterday. And you know what? She's gapping up again today, so I'm going to throw that one on the watch list. Ken says uh, the TROV is uh, starting to pop a little bit. Yes, that's a nice call, Ken. That stock, uh, you know, we, you know, you could see it had a nice little move right there. I got, I was getting a little skeptical on it, um, trading it, but you know what? She looks like she just started making a move. So great call, Ken. I'm going to throw that. I'm going to throw that one on the watch list. TROV. Just remember, everyone, you just need one stock. You can't trade them all, right? You just need one. 
So don't don't think you got to go out there and trade every single one of them. And once again, for, for everybody here, we're not going to trade all of them. You know, the, half of them might not even move going into the open. We always find some new ones that come out of the gate. So if you didn't do too well in pre-market and you didn't find anything, that's okay. We'll find new ones when the market opens up. Anything else I'm missing? The YRI, the YRRV, you know, a lot of volume. You know, you could see it's doing some shakes everywhere. You could see the long term, you know, it could be a swing trade. I don't know if it's going to be a day trade anymore, Ken, but I don't know. Maybe it could be more of a swing trade now. I got to see if it, you got to see how she trades. But the list is getting pretty damn long. <laughs> right here that I got and, and I'm not too I'm not completely sold on a lot of them. There's not one that just jumps out on me and says this is the one that we're gonna trade like the last couple of days. What it is what it is, you know? All right, anything else? AMD strong Nick? Yep. Yep. I I, I tell you I like the AMD. But just be very careful, Nick, because some people think you could trade that stock and it's not as easy as uh as you think sometimes. That's I mean at AMD, I mean you could see just from yesterday, it's got some nasty shakes. You gotta be a little bit of an advanced trader to trade that stock. That stock moves. Okay. All right, everyone. So um, hopefully everybody has been enjoying their trial. Thanks for coming for, for yesterday to Cyber Expo. We're going to have a couple of more, you know, just keep up. We'll let you know more coming up. And uh, listen, if I don't see you at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting, have a great weekend. And you know what? You could do that <laughs> when, you, when, you, when, you, when you trade your own money. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.